is everything. Everything. Put up on old turnpike pocket hot mouth. Fly shit out. Bloody nose is nicking elbows. Fill up with bandages. You can pull out every party. Try to get in some jeans. So I started dipping my face back at age 14. Now the news, the massive fire you're seeing on your screen right now has forced residents out of their homes near Richmond, Indiana. Fire officials say the smoke is toxic from chemicals burning from a fire at a plastics recycling plant. You can see the black smoke from the fire billowing into the air. It has been that way for 22 hours now after flames broke out Tuesday afternoon. The fire is so bad, officials from the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, are now surveying it. NBC News correspondent Ron Allen joins us now live on set. So, Ron, uh, uh, thanks for joining us. So first, what do we know about what caused this fire and why it's still burning so uncontrollably? It's a massive site, some 14 acres, multiple buildings, and firefighters say they've had trouble getting to the fire because it's so intense. Uh, they have also said that the water pressure in that part of town is low, and that's been a problem, and the winds are blowing, and that's a problem. Um, but it's contained to that place and they think it's going to burn it's plastic uh, they describe it as wall to wall ceiling to floor plastic yeah. packed into this place and uh, the town officials said that they had told the owner of this place that it's a fire hazard and they described it as a question oh. of if not if but when there would be a fire there so there's that as well um, but the fire chief says it's contained to that place and he also says it could have been a lot worse take a listen the fire is contained right now. Uh, we did have six other buildings that were on the site that had caught fire. Uh, we stopped it uh, just before the Northwest 2nd Street, and we stopped it at the railroad tracks. So it did not jump into the residential neighborhood. We stopped it there. That's the point. It didn't jump into a residential neighborhood where many people now are evacuated, but the fire didn't get there, which is something good that happened. We still, we understand some people have been ordered to leave. Others have been told to shelter in place. I mean, how long could some people have to stay away from their homes? The fire chief said that he thought the fire would be out the soonest Saturday morning. So we have several more days of this. And uh, there are about 2,000 people who have been evacuated. Uh, schools are closed. There are shelters open. Um, a health official was at the press conference was talking about the situation. And she said that her throat was getting sore and she wanted to stop and, and leave leave the area. So that gives you a sense of how, how pervasive it is. Um, there are residents who say they've found debris in their yards and they've been told not to touch it because it could contain asbestos because the buildings are that old at this plant that recycles and, um, and, and stores plastic. It's plastic that's burning. And, and that's that's what's causing this toxic cloud. And it's apparently going to be there for a while. All right. Certainly a concerning situation in Indiana. Ron Allen, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ron.